All right, homesteader family. So I had the road almost up to where the house is gonna go. So this is day one after they got the backhoe unstuck of me using it for most of the day. So you can see the big pile of dirt up there got excavated for the house site. It just needs to be hauled out. The road is almost there. And then we'll go down here to the pond and I'll show you what I got done on the dam so far. It's been a long, long day. So I got the dam built up. It's not as wide as I want it. I still need to make it a lot wider. But this will be a big help in a big um, mine release. Knowing that there's plenty of dirt here now. And it's not just that two feet of dirt that's holding the pond here. So you can see it's nice and wide. It's probably, I want to say, maybe 8 foot, maybe 10 foot wide. Something like that. And I have it all pushed up over here. And then over here is where I'm going to pour the concrete in that ditch to make a spillway and you can see it's a big fall down and then I dug out that area right there to make a small little pond and you can see the big pile of rocks and dirt that came out of that so when the streams not running in the dry season there should still be water in here because the fence is going to go across here up to match the other fence up there and then the fence is going to go along here and then match the fence that goes up that way. So this way the animals will be in here. They have access to the water. And then another major thing that happened today. Let's see if I can bring it in. Right there, that white thing is a dead duck. So I ended up, I broke the culvert and inside the culvert was five of the ducks that I thought disappeared uh, like a week ago I made a video and it turned out four of them were still alive inside that culvert so it's a good thing I busted that culvert open because now the ducks are out here and they're happy they went and ate a bunch of food inside the house and I had my first neighbor stop by apparently word, word travels fast around here he came to make sure I wasn't stuck again because somehow he heard I got the backhoe stuck. And while he was here, I had five duck eggs inside the duck house. So he's never had duck eggs, so I sent him home with five duck eggs. So he told me if anything ever happens, he's right down the road. And if I need any assistance or anything like that, he's more than willing to lend me a hand. So already I know that the people around here are nice. So there's one other thing that I did today. I went ahead and dug the well. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, case it with cinder block or something like that, and then put a top on it so surface water doesn't get in. But it's a good five foot deep. I'm not sure if it's filled with water or not because I haven't been back down here all day. I've been doing the driveway and excavating up to the house. So let's go find out. So this whole mess you see right here came from the hole of the well. And wow, let me grab this shovel. And I'll grab the tripod. Okay, so here's the well that I dug. I'm going to encase with like cinder block or something like that and then hopefully put a cap on it and put a pipe down inside and do a little solar. Live happy, live free, that's the only way to be.